Hi, I'm Anne and I'm from Nottingham in the UK. My name's Peter, I'm Anne's husband. Uh, we bought uh, a villa in Los Gigantes. Uh, came across Paul Ruane in uh, an, an exhibition called A Place in the Sun at the NEC in Birmingham. We knew we wanted to buy something in the Canaries because we have children, so we wanted to, to go somewhere where we could go in all the school holidays uh, um, and be sure of the good weather without any uh, jet lag and could come for, for short durations. So we chose the Canaries, uh, but that's all we knew. So we went to the exhibition, we, we, we met Paul. Paul asked us if we had ever heard of Los Gigantes and we hadn't. No. So he told us how nice it was and suggested we came over and have a look. So we did, we came over for a week specifically to look. Drove around, Paul drove us around Los Gigantes for a couple of days looking at properties and also suggested that we then go and spend another two or three days in other areas of the island to confirm that, that, we, that this would be our, our, uh, the, the part of the island we want to live in and it certainly was, it's much better than anywhere else in the island, we love Los Gigantes. So that was in 2015, Paul found us um, a property but it, it, it wasn't quite what we wanted, uh, wasn't big enough and was quite dated. So Paul then project managed a, a seven month refurbishment um, that created what is now a, a beautiful five bedroom villa including guest accommodation, uh, which, is, which is now our dream house, all, uh, all sourced and refurbished by Paul Rowan. Yeah, and they still look after us now, don't they? They do. So. La Pergola, absolutely love it. The staff are great there, the view is beautiful and the food is delicious. Oh, it's definitely the square in Los Gigantes. Uh, once the sun sets, there's, there's music coming from various bars. Uh, we, we, we don't have a favourite one, we, we um, use them all. The Los Gigantes beach, it's really nice um, and also there's lots of shops and little ta um, tapa restaurant walking down towards it. It's yeah. quite nice, it's small but it's, it's lovely. Around the corner from the harbour which is quite nice, there's lots of places for lunch as well. Mm. Oh yeah, I've got um, loads of friends, I, I go to a yoga group so um, Every twice a week, I go to Tipsy Terrace where they do yoga, um, and I meet up all my friends. And on a Saturday, we spend all afternoon in the square um, having drinks. It's quite good fun. So yeah, I have uh, a group of uh, we call them yoga husbands uh, <laughs> as friends. Yeah. Where they're yogaing, we go and we go and have uh, English breakfast in, in in the square, and we solve all the world's problems. And we, so we're friends with, with, with both couples who, who have emigrated here, have residentia and live here, and also people who, who commute from the UK like we do, uh, who we, we, we get to know as well. I love Tipsy Terrace because you get to meet all sorts of people there. The staff are so attentive and they've got tennis there, they've got crazy golf, um, obviously the yoga, and they put on a really good do as well. Every, every New Year we go to a New Year's Eve party there and the decorations, the amount of effort they put into the actual party um, and the atmosphere is absolutely fantastic and we go every year and we've done it now, this will be the sixth year that we would have gone to the New Year's Eve party. Um, it's fantastic, love it. We've also done Valentine's there, Halloween, Burns Night, oh, yeah, they do some really great night, functions. Yeah, they've done some really yeah. great functions. And it's also a really nice place for a, for a coffee. The children play tennis there twice a week, so we sometimes go and watch them, yeah. don't we? But it tends to be a, a really nice meeting place for uh, people having coffee during the day or lunch. I mean, I'll walk in there and Sarah and Sally, who are the owners, they'll always say hello and all of the staff know who I am. I know who they are and I don't even have to tell them what I want to drink, they know exactly what I have and it, it, they'll just, it, turn, it turns up on the table. So it, you feel, you're made to feel so welcome, it's a great place, love it. Uh, 
We think, on the subject of Brexit, we think that there are so many uh, English people here uh, owning properties that we're sure that the authorities will find a solution in the discussions that they're having to mean that uh, we, we, it won't affect our, our, the fact that we own a property here or how often we can come here. Uh, I'm sure that they will, they will sort that out. There are plenty of other people here, non-Europeans, uh, that own property here and, and, and they don't have an issue so no, we, we, them, we, we, we're, we're sure that, it, it, that it's fine. It, it, they wouldn't want to affect the economy to such a degree that, that, that people who own property here would feel as though that's becoming a problem for them so it'll be fine I'm sure. Um, I do my food shopping at um, Mercadonna which is good because it's got lots of local stuff. Um, I also do it at Lidl's and Hyperdino, so there's plenty of, of uh, supermarkets here and you can get most, most products, especially because I love cooking and I like to cook healthily so I can get a lot of the ingredients that I need as well as um, extra bits if I need it, so yeah it's not a problem shopping here at all. We do a lot of barbecuing, mm. uh, and the fresh fish counter at Mercadonna's oh, that's unbelievable. Quite amazing, actually, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so and we and we use that a lot. We mm. go there quite often. Uh, we chose to to buy a car here because we like the convenience of it being here whenever we come over, and also because we can sometimes we come for quite quite a few weeks. Uh, so for us, it makes sense to 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 buy a car, um, which we did. We have off-road parking, which is great. And we have somebody kindly pick us up from the airport when we arrive in our own car, bring us back uh, and take us back to the airport at, at, at the end of a holiday. So that, that's how we do it. Buses here are, are fantastic. Buses every, oh, every few regular. minutes from outside yeah. Tipsy Terrace uh, to go all around the island. And, uh, and a lot of people use them and they're very inexpensive. But for us, with having the children as well, car was the, was the better option. There's a lot of taxis are easy. To taxis get are cheap here. Well, yeah. Cheap. Yeah. Um, so getting around the actual um, island is quite easy. Yeah, really. compared to some destinations that we've been on holiday in Europe, uh, other beach destinations, uh, Tenerife taxis are very cheap. I mean, there's a bus that goes from Tipsy Terrace because the bus station is by Tipsy Terrace. Um, and lots of buses go from there and you can get on a bus and go straight from here to Las Americas and you know it, you can get all over the place with the bus system here so it's pretty good. Um, we both decided to take Spanish lessons in the UK. We, f we, yes. we felt that uh, when we first came over here we could speak no Spanish and uh, that caused us a few interesting problems in restaurants but, uh, but also we felt that, it, that uh, it was something we wanted to do and, it, and it's also something we should do we felt as well because it's nice to be yeah. able to speak to people in their native language although they do in the main all speak English so yeah we really enjoy that we, we, we take two lessons a week at home and then we practice it when we come back here so um, and, and it's something we really enjoy doing well, I, we can say nothing but but praise for for Paul uh, Paul Ruane and, uh, and and Nikki Nikki, Nikki and, and Kerry They've been, yeah. they've been a great help since all the way through this from helping us find a property to all the way through the purchase, taking us through all the legal aspects of it, uh, right through to the, the long seven month refurbishment we did. And then it doesn't end there, they've continued to help us. We, the, we've, we bought five years ago and they're still helping us now. Nothing's too much trouble, help us out with tax questions if we have any. Uh, any anything we, we want, to, we, we, we pop in translation if we need it, uh, we, which is great. So we can't praise them, them high enough and we'd highly recommend yeah, would anybody highly who wants to, to, to purchase a property, they do it through Pour Away. I even pop in now and say hello and have a chat to them when I'm walking past their office. They're, they're, they're a good, good bunch of people, so I would highly recommend that you use them because they know what they're doing and they don't rip you off either, which is good.